Hi there! When you're designing a printed circuit board on pad to pad, one way to make connections is with the Edit Nets dialog. In this video, Jimmy will show you how to use this dialog on a sample board with several components. Alright, over to Jimmy! This tutorial shows how to define and edit connections using the Edit Nets dialog. Our example board has a terminal connector, a resistor, a push button, and an LED. Let's define connections for our board. Connections or nets specify which pads are to be electrically connected prior to creating traces. We will use the Edit Nets dialog to define the connections. To start, choose Nets, Edit Nets. The ground net is already created. There will only be two pins in this net, the negative battery terminal and the LED cathode. To add a pin, select it in the right column and click the less than button. Now, let's define the connection between the LED anode and the resistor. Click Create Net. Enter a name. Click OK. Select each of the pins to be connected and click the less than button. You can see that the logical connection blue lines appear as we add pins. Define the other connections the same way. For pins not in use, add them to the empty net. Pins of the empty net are not to be electrically connected. Click OK to close the dialog and check the connections. We can see that there is a mistake. This resistor pin is not connected to anything and the LED would get 12 volts which was not intended. To correct that, choose Nets, Edit Nets. Select the problematic net. Select the LED anode pin in the middle list and click the greater than button. Click Create Net to add the missing connection. Enter a name. Click OK. Add the LED anode pin and the second resistor pin. Let's improve the net names. Click to select the net. Click again and change the name. Let's turn our two layer board into a four layer board. Close the Edit Nets dialog. Choose Job, Settings. Select four layers. Press OK. Choose Nets, Edit Nets. The check mark in the second column indicates that the ground net pins will be connected using a solid plane in the second inner layer. Click to set the check mark in the first column next to the V plus net to make the net connections on the first inner layer. There are two more columns in the nets list. The route column indicates nets that will be routed by the auto router. For the auto router to skip a net, uncheck the cell. Click the column header to check or uncheck all records. In the trace width column, you can specify the trace width to use by the auto router. If nothing is entered, the default value defined in the router settings dialog will be used. To define the trace width, click the column cell to select it. Then click again and enter the width. For example, 0 0.03 inch. In pad to pad, the nets dialog is one way to define connections and a good choice when working from a schematic diagram. Thanks for watching and check out my other design videos. Bye for now.